This is a Kemet 15 thin section lapping and polishing machine. The machine has simple controls. A variable speed control. A simple programmable timer. Start and stop buttons and a vacuum pump on off switch. It also has an automatic slurry feeder which keeps the abrasive slurry evenly mixed. It is important to keep the slurry mixing so that the abrasive does not settle out of the liquid carrier. It has a variable speed control and the slurry runs down the feeder pipe onto the lapping plate. It also has its own on off switch. The vacuum pump plugs into a socket at the rear of the machine. The vacuum circuit is controlled by the vacuum switch. The vacuum pressure is displayed in the vacuum gauge. When the pump is activated, the gauge should show a vacuum. On the side of the machine, there is a vacuum filter. This is a five micron filter. When the level of fluid reaches the indicated line, the filter can be drained. The machine features three workstations. Each will take either a conditioning ring for maintaining plate flatness or a vacuum jig for processing the thin sections. The vacuum jigs must be run in the larger black yoke rollers. Before mounting any samples to the glass slides, it is important to make sure all the slides are a uniform thickness. The Kemet 15 thin section machine is ideal for this. First, you must zero the jig setting stand using the calibrated block. Position the block on top of the setting stand and zero the gauge. Now place the vacuum jig on top of the setting stand and set to the final slide thickness. This is the thickness you want the slides to finish once they've been lapped. In this case, we're going to lap to 1.2 millimeters. So set the gauge like this. Now connect to the vacuum circuit, turn on the vacuum pump and mount the slides to the jig. Every position must be covered to enable the vacuum to hold the slides. Then place the jig onto the lapping machine ensuring the correct yoke rollers are in place. These are the large black ones. Run the machine until the lapping sound changes. The diamond face jig ring will make a harsher cutting sound when the samples have been lapped to the required thickness. This process will turn clear uneven slides into equal thickness slides with a textured surface on one side ready for sample mounting. These samples have been mounted and ground on the geoform.
Use the same process for lapping geological samples mounted to glass slides as we've used for just lapping the glass slides. Set the jig to the final combined thickness of the slide and the sample. This is why it's important to have uniform thickness slides. Mount the slides to the jig. Then lap as before. This will produce even lapped thin sections ready for polishing. They should look like this. The Kemet 15 Geo Thin Section Machine from Kemet International.